Shannon and I am in Berlin, Germany. Where we previously left off was packing for a two month backpacking trip with my boyfriend. That did happen, we had a great time. We saw a total of I think like 10 countries, which was amazing. While we were traveling, I had a job opportunity come through. I took it, it was a contract role, and it allowed me to work full time in Berlin, Germany. There are many challenges, I will not lie to you, but I'm only gonna pick a few. First is learning the language. My gosh, Deutsch is ridiculous. And finally, this is really lame, but living on the fifth floor of our apartment building, oh, it's the oldest building, and there's no elevators, which is totally fine, I get it, but my gosh, it is a workout, and I'm gonna have a booty, I hope, by the end of this. Are we there yet? I'm pumped. Too many stairs. I would say they're both equally cold. Uh, New York kind of matches up with Berlin that it's more of like a wet, wettish cold, so it stings more. Southern Germany, where we just traveled for our winter vacation, it was for sure cold, there's snow on the ground. With proper layering, we were fine, and I think you will be too. Yes! Wait, no. <laughs> we definitely do not eat German food every day of our lives. In fact, we probably eat it Go away, birdie. We're just like any of you guys where it's nice every once in a while, but every day would be a little too much. We might have a heart attack. Drinking Kolsch, the traditional beer of Cologne, apparently, by the Rhine River. With the trash barge. And there's trash barge behind me. Cheers to that. It is nice when people come into town to have a German meal, and it sure does warm you up in the winter. I will say the sauerkraut here is very different. It's a lot sweeter, which I actually really like. It's kind of like dessert. What we do eat a ton of, though, is Duna. Duna kebab. It is so cheap. It's basically about three euro, and there are Duna shops in every neighborhood. Maybe three shops per block. In terms of my personal life, I would say here and there it's challenging. It's our first time doing laundry in Berlin. This is a moment. Numbers. We're learning. Ice, fly, dry. Here's the crazy machine. Our landlord knows a bit in English, a little English. That can throw us off sometimes, but we do have basic ways to communicate. If you come off a little apologetic, try to say a few things in German, they'll feel bad for you and try to help you out. They might even find it cute. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Okay. First and foremost, how easy it is to get a residence permit in Germany. Check out the visa options. Some will allow you to work, some won't. If you have enough saved in your bank account and you budget very precisely each month, you'll be okay. To continue on the visa theme, I would recommend booking an appointment as soon as possible online at the Alsanda Behoda, the immigration center. These appointments book out a year in advance. The way to get an appointment is to wake up early, refresh the screen as many times as you can every single day until you see a date open up. I'm here at the Auslander Bohoda. We're all waiting to go hopefully get our visa paperwork taken care of. Take whatever time becomes available, whatever location, and just do it. Clear your schedule, go to that appointment. It's a Thursday morning and I am ready to go wait in line to apply for my German visa. The forms are all in German, the people might speak just German where we're going. Wish me luck, hopefully I'll be an official German resident very soon. I wish there were easier ways to get around and across the United States with trains or buses. Europe makes it so easy to do that and it's very inexpensive. I miss Chick-fil-A so much. Oh, just a good greasy chicken nugget. We're at Chick-fil-A again because we did. Oh man, I'm gonna be a bad team. <laughs> As he goes for his milkshake and lemonade. <laughs> There's a honey mustard collection going on. And there's some more in the back! Yum. Big win at Chick-fil-A for us today. We can't really find honey mustard out here. <laughs> to start, invest in a tripod. I can't stress this enough. It is so helpful. All you need is what's called a Joby tripod. It's very bendable. I would also say you need a little luck. Here's a super funny scene of me trying to take a photo that almost didn't work out. So right now I'm planning the Joby tripod on a rock so that it's looking out at me and Joey. I put us on the left-hand side of the frame, 
But if you'll notice, there is a young lady <laughs> right next to us looking at the same swan that we're looking at. Not ideal. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all for today. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.